Hi, in this video I will show you how to make various waveforms in LTSpice. We will discuss how to build a sine wave, triangle, square wave and a sawtooth. All with a frequency of 1 kHz at an amplitude of 1 V. Let's start with the sine wave. As discussed in the previous video, all you need is a voltage source which is set to sine wave. The DC offset sits at 0 V, the amplitude is set to 1 V, and the frequency is set to 1 kHz. Next up, the triangle. To create a triangle, all we have to do is to use a voltage source set to pulse. We start at negative 1 V and want it to ramp up to 1 V. We don't care about delay, so we keep it at 0. Now for a 1 kHz signal, we need a period of 1 millisecond. This means that we allow the triangle wave to ramp up and down within 1 millisecond. Because the waveform is symmetrical, these times are just both 500 microseconds. A triangle doesn't have a certain on time, because it goes back immediately after reaching the minimum or maximum amplitude. For the square wave, we also use the pulse function, but this time we use it for what is meant for. We want our pulse to switch up and down between negative 1 and 1 volt. We still don't care about delay. Now we set the rise and fall times very short, to 1 picosecond. This means that it just takes 1 picosecond for the square wave to go from negative 1 volt to 1 volt and back. We want a 1 kHz signal with a 50% duty cycle. So we just have to make sure that the on time is 50% of the period, which is 1 millisecond. For the sawtooth, we once again will abuse the pulse generator. But this time, the rise time is as long as the period of 1 millisecond. Then the fall time is set very short, so it goes right back to negative 1 volt. Also this waveform doesn't have an on time, as it's meant to collapse after reaching the maximum amplitude of 1 volt. This will create a sawtooth with a rising slope. If you want a sawtooth with a negative slope, just switch the fall and rise times. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if this video was useful. And see you in the next one. Bye!